y'all what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and today we're going over how against the odds an up-and-coming entertainment management company signed an artist strengthened his brand and got him a show in front of 400 people in four months so the artist little too dope was signed by against the eyes earlier this year actually and one of the very first things that the team did was get his brand out everywhere locally in st louis where he's based out of engage 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 the community and they actually took it old school but got creative with it going down to the opening day for the St. Louis Cardinals baseball game and going crazy with the promo. I'm talking CDs, flyers, drawstring bags, and one of their mentalities behind those drawstring bags, you know, like those Nike athletic bags, was basically people are going to become their walking billboard. They get their logo and stuff out there. Now, when people go around town, you use this bag all the time, everybody's going to see their brand. Then on top of that, they leverage their physical marketing for social engagement as well. See these pictures right here? They got families and just other people to actually hold their flyers, take pictures with them. Now they added social media so they can engage. Those people can also follow them on social media, maybe share it themselves because now they feel invested for being a part of the campaign in some way. And even outside this isolated incident, Against the Odds is reaching out constantly, finding bloggers and other people that match Lido's brand to get him more exposure, right? And that's what they do for artists. Some artists only like to focus on the music and Against the Odds is constantly building out their network so they can match their people, their artists, with a influencer that's going to get them in front of the right audience. And they're always constantly working on that process. Generally speaking, that's what entertainment management is supposed to do. If your entertainment management is not at least trying, I mean, you want them to be successful, but if they're not doing that work at all, even trying to build, you got a problem. But artists, keep in mind, your management necessarily isn't going to construct your image for you. They might be able to connect you with certain type of people. You need to understand and constantly be working on calcifying, solidifying what your image is going to be. But what they can help you do is execute that, push that out to the world, and get you popping out in these streets. And then on top of that, you got to get down to business. Against the Odds goal was not just to get Lido some exposure, they wanted to get Buddy some shows. So what did they do? Even though they're based out of St. Louis and they were building community in St. Louis, they were able to use a connection at Arkansas State University, pitched five fraternities, secured a deal, and implemented a street team in a completely different state. They were able to build, put it out a street team in a completely different area and then land 400 people at the show. This is it. Little being in front of somebody, performing for somebody else, opening up a show. He's the headliner. Everybody is coming to see him. That's marketing. Don't get it twisted. This is the real connection. Being able to take that branding and ability to expose that brand, but then also having that other end where you can secure deals, make things happen. This is why you guys actually see some artists that are touring for a living that don't even have a huge following. Some of you guys might have like 10,000 followers and then there's some artists who only has 1,000 followers but is touring for a living. That's because they have a team behind them or a few people behind them, or even some of them just know how to do it themselves where they can secure those deals, those shows, they know how to move on that end. The marketing and branding efforts around that show alone resulted in people knowing who he was at the school before he even got there and then taking pictures and spreading it on social media, doing more branding work for them. And now, last I heard, there's gonna be more talks about doing more performances at Arkansas State University. Um, there's gonna be something at Ohio State University. So, and strategy-wise, hitting the college market hard, it can do wonders for some of you guys. If that's your demographic, if your music fits, it can help you explode. It really can get you that foundational audience that you need to go to that next level. And here's another benefit from having some form of management manager or just team around you that's a little bit more business oriented. You get patience and more perspective as an artist because the last time I talked to somebody on the team at Against the Odds, they basically were like, right now we're solely focused on creating value around a little too dope brand. We're not really just trying to say, hey, let's just come up right now 
blast off, put us in the biggest magazine in the world. They're creating real value, a real fan base. That's why you're seeing online and offline, they're touching the people, but then using those efforts to translate to additional online marketing, like the baseball game, like doing performances at you know colleges uh, and still working on those things. And that's that constant balance because there are people who have followings I've talked to. I know plenty of people who have a decent amount of listeners online, but they don't know how to translate that to the physical world and actually doing shows or actually getting money. And then you have those people who can get some shows and kind of get by, finesse a little bit of money out of the situations, but they can't really build any real fan base and presence because they don't know how to translate that online. There is that balance. Against the Odds so far is really doing a really good job at helping Lido focus that brand and then create something out of it. It takes a constant grind to really get that huge benefit that most people are looking for as an artist. So if you guys have any questions, you feel like you might want to learn something from them or work with them in some kind of way, you can check them out at Against the Odds. I will put their social or something somewhere in this video. Go ahead and share this if you found this video helpful or you know somebody who might. Other than that, y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.